Avignon French pronunciation, Avi, Latin, Avinio, Provençal, Avignon, Occitan, Avignon pronounced Avi -un is a commune in southeastern France in the department of Vaucluse on the left bank of the Rhone River. Of the 90,194 inhabitants of the city as of 2011, about 12,000 live in the ancient town centre enclosed by its medieval ramparts. Between 1309 and 1377, during the Avignon Papacy, seven successive popes resided in Avignon and in 1348 Pope Clement VI bought the town from Joanna I of Naples. Papal control persisted until 1791 when, during the French Revolution, it became part of France. The town is now the capital of the Vaucluse department and one of the few French cities to have preserved its ramparts. The historic centre, which includes the Palais des Papes, the Cathedral, and the Pont de Vignon, became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1995. The medieval monuments and the annual festival de Vignon have helped to make the town a major centre for tourism. Toponymy The earliest forms of the name were reported by the Greeks. Aenian equals Aenian, Stephen of Byzantium, Strabo, IV, 1, 11. Aenian equals Aenian, Ptolemy II, X, the Roman name of Venio Cavrum, Mela, 2, 575, Pliny 3, 36, i.e., Avignon of Cavares, accurately shows that Avignon was one of the three cities of the Celtic Ligurian tribe of Cavares, along with Cavilan and Orange. The current name dates to a pre-Indo-European or pre-Latin theme ab n with the suffix i on e. This theme would be a hydronym, i.e. a name linked to the river Rhone, but perhaps also an oronym of terrain the Rocher des Dames. The Aonian of the 1st century BC was Latinized to Avenio or Avenio, Onus in the 1st century and was written Avenio in classic Occitan spelling or Avignon Aviu in Mistralian spelling the inhabitants of the commune are called Avignonenks or Avignonen in both Occitan and Provençal dialect. History Geography <laughs> 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 Avignon is on the left bank of the Rhone River, a few kilometers above its confluence with the Durance, about 580 kilometers (360 miles) southeast of Paris, 229 kilometers (142 miles) south of Lyon, and 85 kilometers (53 miles) north northwest of Marseille. On the west, it shares a border with the department of Gard and the communes of Villeneuve, Les Avignon, and Les Angles, and to the south, it borders the department of Bouches du Rhone and the communes of Barbentaine, Rignones, Chaterenard, and Noves. The city is in the vicinity of Orange, North, Nimes, Montpellier, Southwest, Arles to the south, Salon de Provence, and Marseille, Southeast. Directly contiguous to the east and north are the communes of Comont sur Durance, Morières, Les Avignon, Le Ponte, and Sorgues. Topic. Geology and terrain The region around Avignon is very rich in limestone which is used for building material. For example, the current ramparts, measuring 4,330 metres long, were built with the soft limestone abundant in the region called Molossi Bertigallienne, enclosed by the ramparts. The Rocher des Dames is a limestone elevation of Ergonian type, 35 metres high and therefore safe from flooding of the Rhone which it overlooks and is the original core of the city. Several limestone massifs are present around the commune the Massif des Angles, Villeneuve les Avignon, Alpils, and they are partly the result of the oceanization of the Ligurian Provençal Basin following the migration of the Sardo Corsican bloc. The other significant elevation in the commune is the Montfavet Hill, a wooded hill in the east of the commune. The Rhone Valley is an old alluvial zone, loose deposits cover much of the ground. It consists of sandy alluvium more or less colored with pebbles consisting mainly of siliceous rocks. The islands in the Rhône, such as the Île de la Barthelasse, were created by the accumulation of alluvial deposits and also by the work of man. The relief is quite low despite the creation of mounds allowing local protection from flooding. In the land around the city there are clay, silt, sand, and limestone present. Hydrography <inaudible> 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 The Rhône passes the western edge of the city but is divided into two branches, the Petite Rhône, or Dead Arm, for the part that passes next to Avignon and the Grand Rhône, or Live Arm, 
For the Western Channel which passes villeneuve les avignon in the Gard department. The two branches are separated by an island, the Île de la Barthelasse. The southernmost tip of the Île de la Barthelasse once formed of a separated island, the Lille de Pio, the banks of the Rhône and the Île de la Barthelasse are often subject to flooding during autumn and March. The publication floods in France since the 6th century until today. Research and documentation by Maurice Champion tells about a number of them until 1862. The flood of 1856 was one of the largest, which destroyed part of the walls. They have never really stopped as shown by the floods in 1943-1944 and again on the 23rd of January 1955 and remain important today, such as the floods of the 2nd of December 2003. As a result, a new risk mapping has been developed. The Durance flows along the southern boundary of the commune into the Rhône and marks the departmental boundary with Bouches du Rhône. It is a river that is considered capricious and once feared for its floods it was once called the third scourge of Provence. As well as for its low water, the Durance has both alpine and Mediterranean morphology which is unusual. There are many natural and artificial water lakes in the commune such as the Lake of St. Chamond east of the city. Topic. Artificial diversions There have been many diversions throughout the course of history, such as feeding the moat surrounding Avignon or irrigating crops. In the 10th century part of the waters from the Sorg d'Antregues were diverted and today pass under the ramparts to enter the city, see Sorg. This watercourse is called the Vaucluse Canal but Avignon people still call it the Sorg or Sorgette. It is visible in the city in the famous Rue des Tenturiers Street of Dyers. It fed the moat around the first ramparts then fed the moat on the newer eastern city walls 14th century. In the 13th century under an act signed in 1229 part of the waters of the Durance were diverted to increase the water available for the moats starting from Bonpas. This river was later called the Durancol. The Durancol fed the western moats of the city and was also used to irrigate crops at Montfavet. In the city these streams are often hidden beneath the streets and houses and are currently used to collect sewerage. The Hospital Canal joining the Durancol and the Krillin Canal 1775 were dug to irrigate the territories of Montfavet, Ponte, and Vedin. They were divided into numerous fioles or filioles in Provençal filholas or fiolo. Similarly, to irrigate the gardens of the wealthy south of Avignon, the Puy Canal was dug 1808. All of these canals took their water from the Durance. These canals were initially used to flood the land, which was very stony, to fertilize them by deposition of silt. All of these canals have been used to operate many mills. Topic. Seismicity Under the new seismic zoning of France defined in Decree No. 2010-1255 of of October 2010 concerning the delimitation of the seismicity of the French territory and which entered into force on 1 May 2011, Avignon is located in an area of moderate seismicity. The previous zoning is shown below for reference. The cantons of Bonio, Apt, Cadenet, Cavillon, and Pertuis are classified in zone IB low risk. All other cantons the Vaucluse department, including Avignon, are classified IA very low risk. This zoning is for exceptional seismicity resulting in the destruction of buildings." The presence of faults in the limestone substrate shows that significant tectonic shift has caused earthquakes in different geological ages. The last major earthquake of significant magnitude was on of June 1909. It left a visible trace in the center of the city since the bell tower of the Augustinians, which is surmounted by an ancient campanile of wrought iron, located in Rue Corretory, remains slightly leaning as a result of this earthquake. Topic. Climate Avignon has a humid subtropical climate CFA in the Köppen climate classification, with mild cool winters and hot summers, with moderate rainfall year-round. July and August are the hottest months with average daily maximum temperatures of around 28 degrees Celsius, and January and February the coldest with average daily maximum temperatures of around 9 degrees Celsius. The wettest month is September, with a rain average of 102 mm, and the driest month is July, when the monthly average rainfall is 37 mm. The city is often subject to windy weather, the strongest wind is the Mistral. 
A medieval Latin proverb said of the city, Aveni ventosa, sign vento veninosa, cum vento fastidiosa windy avignon, pest ridden when there is no wind, wind pestered when there is. According to Meteo France the number of days per year with rain above 2.5 litres per square metre is 45 and the amount of water, rain and snow combined is 660 litres per square metre. Average temperatures vary between 0 and 30 degrees Celsius depending on the season. The record temperature record since the existence of the weather station at Orange is 40.7 degrees Celsius on 26 July 1983 and the record lowest was minus 14.5 degrees Celsius on 2 February 1956. The Mistral The prevailing wind is the Mistral for which the wind speed can be beyond 110 km per hour. It blows between 120 and 160 days per year with an average speed of 90 km per hour in gusts. The following table shows the different speeds of the Mistral recorded by Orange and Carpentras Serre stations in the southern Rhone Valley and its frequency in 2006. Normal corresponds to the average of the last 53 years from Orange weather reports and that of the last 42 at Carpentras, legend, equals, same as normal, plus, higher than normal. Quote dash quote. Lower than normal. Topic. Demographics In 2010, the commune had 89,683 inhabitants. The evolution of the number of inhabitants is known from the population censuses conducted in the commune since 1793. From the 21st century, a census of communes with fewer than 10,000 inhabitants is held every five years, unlike larger communes that have a sample survey every year. Population change see database. Sources, LDH, EHESS, Cassini until 1962, INSEE database from 1968 population without double counting and municipal population from 2006 Administration Avignon is the prefecture capital of Vaucluse department in the Provence-Alpes-Côte d'Azur region. It forms the core of the Grand Avignon metropolitan area d'agglomération, which comprises 15 communes on both sides of the river. Les Angles, Puget, Rochefort du Gard, Sauveterre, Sais and villeneuve les avignon in the Gard department. Avignon, Comont sur Durance, Entregues sur la Sorgue, Jonquerets, Morières Les Avignon, La Ponte, Saint Saturn in Les Avignon, Vedin and Veleron in the Vaucluse department. Topic: <laughs> List of mayors. List of successive mayors. Mayors from 1940. Not all data is known. Topic: <laughs> Twinning. Avignon has twinning associations with Colchester, United Kingdom, since 1972; Guanajuato, Mexico, since 1990; Ioannina, Greece, since 1984; New Haven, Connecticut, USA, since 1993; Siena, Italy, since 1981; Tarragona, Spain, since 1968; Wetzlar, Germany, since 1960. Topic. Evolution of the borders of the commune Avignon absorbed Montfavet between 1790 and 1794 then ceded Moriere's Les Avignon in 1870 and La Ponte in 1925. On 16 May 2007 the commune of Les Angles in Gard ceded 13 hectares to Avignon. Topic. Area and population The city of Avignon has an area of 64.78 square kilometers and a population of 92,078 inhabitants in 2010 and is ranked as follows. Topic: Economy. Avignon is the seat of the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Vaucluse, which manages the Avignon Comont Airport and the Avignon La Ponte docks. 
Avignon has 7,000 businesses, 1,550 associations, 1,764 shops, and 1,305 service providers. The urban area has one of the largest catchment areas in Europe with more than 300,000 square metres of retail space and 469 square metres per thousand population against 270 on average in France. The commercial area of Avignon Nord is one of the largest in Europe. The tertiary sector is the most dynamic in the department by far on the basis of the significant production of early fruit and vegetables in Vaucluse. The Min market of national importance has become the pivotal hub of commercial activity in the department, taking precedence over other local markets including that of carpentries. A sensitive urban zone was created for companies wanting to relocate with exemptions from tax and social issues. It is located south of Avignon between the city walls and the Durance located in the districts of Croix Rouge, Montclar, Saint Chamond, and La Rocade. Topic: <laughs> Areas of economic activity. There are 9 main areas of economic activity in Avignon. The Courtine area is the largest with nearly 300 businesses of which roughly half are service establishments, one third are shops, and the rest related to industry and more than 3600 jobs. The site covers an area of 300 hectares and is located southwest of the city at the TGV railway station. Then comes the Fontcouvert area with 100 establishments representing 1000 jobs. It is, however, more oriented towards shops than the Courtine area. The Min area of Avignon is the Agropark area or Technopole Agropark. The Cristalli area is contiguous and both have a little less than a hundred establishments. Finally, the areas of Castellet, Croix de Noves, Realpanier, and the airport each have fewer than 25 establishments spread between service activities and shops. The area of the Castellet alone represents more than 600 jobs, i.e. 100 more than Cristalli. Topic. Tourism Four million visitors come annually to visit the city and the region and also for its festival. In 2011 the most popular tourist attraction was the Palais des Papes with 572,972 paying visitors. The annual festival de Vignon is the most important cultural event in the city. The official festival attracted 135,800 people in 2012. River tourism began in 1994 with three river boat hotels. In 2011 there is a fleet of 21 river boat hotel buildings, including six sightseeing boats which are anchored on the quay along the Ulle walkways. In addition, a free shuttle boat connects Avignon to the Ile de la Barthelas and, as of 1987, a harbour master has managed all river traffic. The commune has been awarded one flower by the National Council of Towns and Villages in Bloom in the competition of cities and villages in Bloom. Topic: <inaudible> Agriculture. The city is the headquarters of the International Association of the Mediterranean Tomato, the World Council of the Tomato Industry, and the Inter-Rhone Organization. Topic: <inaudible> Industry. <inaudible> Only EDF Grand Delta with about 850 employees and Onet Proprité with just over 300 exceed 100 employees. Topic: <inaudible> Public sector excluding government. The Henri Duffo Hospital, the City of Avignon, and the CHS of Montfavet are the largest employers in the town with about 2,000 employees each. Then comes the General Council of Vaucluse with about 1,300 employees. Topic. Employment In 2011 the unemployment rate was 15.6% while it was 13.7% in 2006. There are 39,100 people in the Avignon workforce, 78 0.2% agricultural workers, 2,191 5.6% tradesmen, shopkeepers, and business managers, 4,945 12.6% managers and intellectuals, 8,875 22.6% middle managers, 12,257 31.3% employees, and 9,603 24.6% workers. 
Transport Roads Avignon is close to two highways. The A7 autoroute E714 is a north-south axis on which there are two exits, 23 Avignon Nord northern districts of Avignon, La Ponte, Carpentras and 24 Avignon Sud southern districts of Avignon, Avignon Comont Airport. The A9 autoroute E15 which branches from the A7 near Orange along a northeast-southwest axis towards Spain, the main roads are Route Nationale N100 which goes west to Remolins The D225 which goes north towards Entregues sur la Sorgue The D62 which goes northeast to Vedin The D28 which goes east to saint saturn and les avignon The D901 which goes southeast to morières les avignon Route Nationale N570 which goes south to Ragnanist City has nine paid parking buildings with a total of 7,100 parking spaces, parking buildings under surveillance with a capacity for 2,050 cars with a free shuttle to the city center, as well as five other free parking areas with a capacity of 900 cars. Railways <inaudible> 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 Avignon is served by two railway stations, the historic train station built in 1860, the Gare d'Avignon Centre, located just outside the city walls, which can accommodate any type of train and, since 2001, the Gare d'Avignon TGV in the Courtine district south of the city, on the LGV Méditerranée line. Since December 2013 the two stations have been connected by a link line, the Virgule. The Montfavet district, which was formerly a separate commune, also has a station. Topic. Airports The Avignon – Comont Airport on the southeastern commune border has several international routes to England. The major airport in the region with domestic and international scheduled passenger service is the Marseille-Provence Airport. Topic. Water transport The Rhône has for many centuries been an important means of transportation for the city. River traffic in Avignon has two commercial ports, docking stations for boat cruises, and various riverfront developments. A free shuttle boat has been established between the quay near the ramparts and the opposite bank the Ile de la Bartholas. <laughs> Public transport The Transports en Commune de la Région de Vignon, also known by the acronym TCRA, is the public transport operator for the commune of Avignon and its surrounding suburbs. TCRA operates bus services, as well as bike sharing and carpooling services. Two tram lines are under construction and projected to open in 2016. Bicycles <inaudible> 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 Avignon has 110 kilometers 68 miles of bicycle paths. In 2009 the TCRA introduced a bicycle sharing system called the Velopop. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Cultural Heritage. Avignon has a very large number of sites and buildings 173 that are registered as historical monuments. In the part of the city within the walls the buildings are old but in most areas they have been restored or reconstructed such as the post office and the Lycée Frédéric Mistral. The buildings along the main street, Rue de la République, date from the Second Empire 1852 with houseman façades and amenities around Place de l'Horloge the central square, the neoclassical city hall, and the theatre district. Listed below are the major sites of interest with those sites registered as historical monuments indicated Notre Dame des Dames, 12th century, the cathedral, is a Romanesque building, mainly built during the 12th century. The most prominent feature of the cathedral is the 19th century gilded statue of the Virgin, which surmounts the western tower. The mausoleum of Pope John XXII 1334 is one of the most beautiful works within the cathedral, and is a noteworthy example of 14th century Gothic carving. Palais des Papes, Papal Palace, 14th century, almost dwarfs the cathedral. The palace is an impressive monument and sits within a square of the same name. 
The palace was begun in 1316 by John XXII and continued by succeeding popes through the 14th century, until 1370 when it was finished. Minor churches of the town include, among others, three churches which were built in the Gothic architectural style. Church of Saint-Pierre which has a graceful façade and richly carved doors Church of Saint-Didier and Church of saint Agricole 14th century. Civic buildings are represented most notably by the Hotel de Ville City Hall 1846, a relatively modern building with a bell tower from the 14th century. The old Hotel des Menets, the Papal Mint which was built in 1610 and became a music school. The Ramparts, built by the Popes in the 14th century and still encircle Avignon. They are one of the finest examples of medieval fortification in existence. The walls are of great strength and are surmounted by machicolated battlements flanked at intervals by 39 massive towers and pierced by several gateways, three of which date from the 14th century. The walls were restored under the direction of Eugene Violet Le Duc. Bridges include the Pont saint benezet better known as the Pont de Vignon and for the famous French song Sur le Pont de Vignon. Only four of the 21 piers are left and the bridge ends mid-channel. On one of the piers stands the small Romanesque chapel of Saint Benezet. The Pont Édouard d'Aladir and the Pont de Royaume, which together span both channels of the Rhône leading to villeneuve les avignon thus replacing the Pont Saint Benezet. The Pont de l'Europe, which provides a second road crossing over the Rhône. Two railway bridges over the Rhône, one carrying the conventional Paris-Marseille line and the other the lgv Méditerranée line. Calvet Museum, so named after Esprit Calvet, a physician who in 1810 left his collections to the town. It has a large collection of paintings, metalwork and other objects. The library has over 140,000 volumes. The town has a statue of Jean Althon, who migrated from Persia and in 1765 introduced the culture of the madder plant, which long formed the staple—and is still an important tool—of the local cloth trade in the area. Musée du Petit Palais opened 1976 at the end of the square overlooked by the Palais des Papes, has an exceptional collection of Renaissance paintings of the Avignon School as well as from Italy, which reunites many «primitives» from the collection of Giampietro Campana. The Hôtel d'Europe, one of the oldest hotels in France, in business since 1799. The collection Lambert, houses contemporary art exhibitions. The Musée Angladin exhibits the paintings of a private collector who created the museum Musée Lapidaire, with collections of archaeological and medieval sculptures from the Foundation Calvet in the old chapel of the Jesuit College. Musée Louis Vouland Musée Requien Palais du Roar Les Halles is a large indoor market that offers fresh produce, meats, and fish along with a variety of other goods. The Place Pie is a small square near Place de l'Horloge where you can partake in an afternoon coffee on the outdoor terraces or enjoy a night on the town later in the evening as the square fills with young people. Topic. Religious historical objects The commune houses an extremely large number of religious items which are listed as historical objects. To see a comprehensive list of objects in each location click on the numbers in the table below. Locations of historical objects Topic. Picture gallery Topic. Culture Topic. Avignon Festival A famous theater festival is held annually in Avignon. Founded in 1947, the Avignon Festival comprises traditional theatrical events as well as other art forms such as dance, music, and cinema, making good use of the town's historical monuments. Every summer approximately 100,000 people attend the festival. There are really two festivals that take place, the more formal, Festival Inn, which presents plays inside the Palace of the Popes and the more bohemian, Festival Off which is known for its presentation of largely undiscovered plays and street performances. The International Congress Center 
The center was created in 1976 within the premises of the Palace of the Popes and hosts many events throughout the entire year. The Congress Center, designed for conventions, seminars, and meetings for 10 to 550 persons, now occupies two wings of the Pope's Palace. Topic: <inaudible> Sur le Pont de Vignon. Avignon is commemorated by the French song Sur le Pont de Vignon, on the bridge of Avignon, which describes folk dancing. The song dates from the mid-19th century when Adolphe Adam included it in the opera comique La Sourde au l'auberge plain which was first performed in Paris in 1853. The opera was an adaptation of the 1790 comedy by De Forge. The bridge of the song is the saint Benazet bridge over the Rhône of which only four arches out of the initial 22 now remain. A bridge across the Rhône was built between 1171 and 1185, with a length of some 900 metres 2950 feet, but was destroyed during the Siege of Avignon by Louis VIII of France in 1226. It was rebuilt but suffered frequent collapses during floods and had to be continually repaired. Several arches were already missing and spanned by wooden sections before the remainder was abandoned in 1669. Sport Sporting Olympique Avignon is the local rugby league football team. During the 20th century it produced a number of French international representative players. AC Arles Avignon was a professional association football team. They competed in Ligue 2, after a season 2010-2011 competing in Ligue 1 and being relegated back down the following season and ultimately folding in 2016. They played at the Parc des Sports, which has a capacity of just over 17,000. Nuclear pollution On 8 July 2008 waste containing unenriched uranium leaked into two rivers from Tricastin nuclear plant in southern France. Some 30,000 litres 7,925 gallons of solution containing 12 grams of uranium per litre spilled from an overflowing reservoir at the facility, which handles liquids contaminated by uranium, into the ground and into the Gaffier and Lausanne rivers. The authorities kept this a secret from the public for 12 hours then issued a statement prohibiting swimming and fishing in the Gaffier and Lausanne rivers. Education. <inaudible> <inaudible> The schools within the Commune of Avignon are administered by the Académie d'Aix Marseille. There are 26 state nursery schools écoles for children up to 6, and 32 state primary schools écoles up to 11. There are also four private schools. <laughs> <laughs> University of Avignon <laughs> <laughs> University before the Revolution The medieval University of Avignon, formed from the existing schools of the city, was formally constituted in 1303 by Boniface VIII in a papal bull. Boniface VIII and King Charles II of Naples were the first great protectors and benefactors to the university. The law department was the most important department covering both civil and ecclesiastical law. The law department existed nearly exclusively for some time after the university's formation and remained its most important department throughout its existence. In 1413, Antipope John XXIII founded the university's Department of Theology, which for quite some time had only a few students. It was not until the 16th and 17th centuries that the school developed a department of medicine. The Bishop of Avignon was Chancellor of the university from 1303 to 1475. After 1475 the bishop became an archbishop but remained chancellor of the university. The papal vice-legate, generally a bishop, represented the civil power in this case the pope and was chiefly a judicial officer who ranked higher than the primicerius rector. The primicerius was elected by the doctors of law. In 1503 the doctors of law had four theologians and in 1784 two doctors of medicine added to their ranks. Since the Pope was the spiritual head and, after 1348, the temporal ruler of Avignon, he was able to have a great deal of influence in all university affairs. In 1413 John XXIII granted the university extensive special privileges, such as university jurisdiction and tax-exempt status. 
political, geographical, and educational circumstances in the latter part of the university's existence caused it to seek favor from Paris rather than Rome for protection. During the chaos of the French Revolution the university started to gradually disappear and, in 1792, the university was abandoned and closed. <laughs> Modern university A university annex of the Faculté des Sciences d'Aix Marseille was opened in Avignon in 1963. Over the next 20 years various changes were made to the provision of tertiary education in the town until finally in 1984 the Université de Vignon et des Pays de Vaucluse was created. This was nearly 200 years after the demise of the original Avignon University. The main campus lies to the east of the city centre within the city ramparts. The university occupies the 18th century buildings of the Hôpital Saint Marta. The main building has an elegant facade with a central portico. The right hand side was designed by Jean Baptiste Franquet and built between 1743 and 1745. Franquet was assisted by his son Francois in the design of the portico. The hospital moved out in the 1980s and, after major works, the building opened for students in 1997. In 2009-2010 there were 7,125 students registered at the university. Notable people Trophime Bigot, French painter, died in Avignon, 1650. Jean Alessi, racing car driver, born in Avignon, 1964 Henri Bosco, writer, born in Avignon, 1888. Pierre Boulle, author of The Bridge Over the River Kwai and Planet of the Apes, born in Avignon, 1912 Alexander de Rhodes (1591–1664), Jesuit missionary, born in Avignon. Pierre Esprit Radisson, fur trader and explorer, born in Avignon, 1636 or 1640. Bernard Couchner, politician, born in Avignon, 1936. Jean-Claude Malgor, musician, born in Avignon in 1940. Murray Mathieu, singer, born in Avignon, 1946. René May, spiritual leader Olivier Messiaen, composer, born in Avignon, 1908 Joseph Vernet, painter, born in Avignon, 1714 John Stuart Mill, liberal philosopher, died at Avignon in 1873 and is buried in the cemetery. Dorothea von Rod Schlozer, artist and scholar, died in Avignon in 1825 Michel Trinquire, painter, born in Avignon, 1930 René Girard, historian, literary critic, philosopher, and author, born in Avignon, 1923 Daniel Arzand, writer and publisher, born in Avignon, 1950 Vincent Almendros, writer, winner of the 2015 Prix François Sagan, born in Avignon, 1978 Cédric Carrasso, footballer, born in Avignon, 1981 See also Avenir Club Avignonis, a French association football team. Battle of Avignon, 737. Councils of Avignon, Councils of the Roman Catholic Church. Pont Saint Benezet, bridge at Avignon. Topic. Notes. Topic. References. Topic. Sources. Topic. External links Tourist Office website City Council website Avignon Greater Metropolitan Area website in French Google Earth View of Avignon